Hi, today I'm going to do a bit of a demo on a bit of a one-off lesson on how to create a really cool optical illusion piece of art. Uh, I've seen this done around before, but uh, I'm going to show you how it's done and you can do it at home. It's really easy uh, and lots of fun. So I'll show you how it's done. So for this task, you're going to need obviously some paper. You're going to need some different colored pencils, uh, a pencil sharpener and a rubber is really handy for this as well. So this is how the how the optical illusion drawing works. So the first step to this is to draw like a wavy curvy sort of line through the center of your page like this. Okay, it doesn't really matter how you do your line, it can be as curvy or as straight as you like. That's really up to you. The next is to mark off some points along your line. Uh, I'm going to mark off about eight points. Um, and these points, they don't have to be spaced out evenly. They can just sort of go anywhere you like. Uh, let's go here, here, maybe one over here, here, here. Okay, that will do. Now the next step is I'm going to join those lines with some wavy curved lines. Um, like this. Okay, like little hills on a line. Now once I've got those sort of little hills on a line, I'm now going to continue those hills so that the curves keep meeting back into this point. Okay, like this. Now that you've done all your curving lines, we now need to do the same on the reverse, on the bottom side. Exactly the same, like a mirror image, like this. Okay, that will do for now. Now, the next stage of this is I need to colour these little sections in. Now, it doesn't matter what colours you use, it's really up to your own personal preference, whether you want to go with like lots of blues and cool colours, or warm colours, or just mix it up completely with a whole spectrum of rainbow colours. But anyhow, I'm just going to fill it in with some colours. Now, the trick here is to make sure that in the shading, that in each section, we go from really heavy um, technique to make it as dark as possible, and then shade it into light or not so heavy and then back to dark again to get this effect of like a sort of a curve or a shine to it. I'll show you how it's done. Now you can see here how I've made this sort of look as so how it's gone from dark to light to dark again and that effect is just by how hard I press my pencil pressing really hard to get the darker red and then just really easing off and pressing really lightly in the middle so it's as faint as possible and then getting it back to dark again to get that effect and now mixing up my colors uh, using the same technique just lots of different colors I'm gonna fill the whole thing in this takes a little bit of time and patience um, but the effect is really great at the end so stick with it I'm gonna finish mine now Okay, as you can see, this piece is getting close to finished. Now, I'm just going to show you one more last technique. And at the very end, you can see how I've got this nice little curve effect to it. So, I'm just going to use a rubber now, and right down the middle of each of these sections, I'm just going to run my rubber just to give it a little light little tint to it, like this. Not too hard, I don't want to rub it out, I just want to give it a little light effect. Beautiful. Now I'm going to finish this off, but as I said, you can do this in so many different ways. You can choose your own colors, you can choose your own lines and effects and patterns. Finish it off, put it in a frame, and it'll look, look like a beautiful piece of artwork. So have a go at it, enjoy it, be patient, 
and have some fun. <laughs>